All right, everybody, it's finally time. Uh, this is my Droid X2, and Dragon Killer has just released CM10. So we're gonna go into a how-to install and review of this deal and check it out. So, <clears throat> first things first, this can be installed on top of CM9, um, or you can install it from your stock uh, Android version 2.3.4 that is rooted with custom recovery installed or clock or bootstrap recovery I should say. Um, either way, uh, I am on CM9 right now, so we're going to go ahead and go into recovery and install this sucker. So first thing you want to do is go to the links in my description and get your ROM and your Jelly Bean Gaps and download them to your SD card. So once you've done that, once you're in boot, uh, bootstrap recovery here, we're going to install recovery. Then we're going to take our wall charger, plug it in, and then recovery mode. And then we should get into clockwork mod recovery here. Um, let me read over a couple of the issues with this thing as we're waiting for this to boot into clockwork mod recovery. First one is charge only mode. This is really significant because charge only mode is what allows us to hack into clockwork mod recovery like we're doing right now. Um, this is not functioning so you cannot make any androids of CM10 at this point until he fixes this. Um, so if you want to restore back to CM9 or anything else you're gonna have to SBF your device back to stock 2.3.4 and then get up and get it back and running like that and run it and then restore your uh, backups so that's how it's gonna have to work alright so now that we're in here we're gonna go ahead we've got the thing downloaded and we booted it in um, I have an Android I'd recommend making an Android at this point a backup so first thing we're gonna do is install zip from SD card this is a little different than most of the times how I do this. Choose it from SD card, and that's because of his directions. Dragon Killers, that is. And I'm going to go to CM10, select it, and then CM10, unofficial, and select that. That is where I have put my CM10 zip. It's probably for you going to be in downloads, unless you move it. So we're going to go through the install process, it's going to take just a little bit, and then we're going to flash our jelly bean gaps. Um, while this is going, we're going to go through another <clears throat> some other issues they've had. Uh, one of the other issues that he's seeing is your apps on SD card do not function on this build. Um, also your media server, there's some issues where it duplicates your ringtones and your uh, not uh, let's see notification custom ringtones notifications tones and alarms so when you're looking through your list you're gonna see those in there twice not really a big deal um, but they're just there in there twice so you have your ringtone named whatever pixie dust or something it's gonna say pixie dust twice that's all so not a real huge issue there um, you will have some crashes on a couple applications but not too bad but from what I'm told from other people who've already got this thing installed it is very smooth because of Project Butter on Jelly Bean and very fast. It seems to be a little bit more stable than CM9, which is really exciting. Um, so that's really cool. Camcorder is not functioning right now for the camera. Um, so I think, I don't know if the camera works or not. We're going to have to test it once we get into it. Um, so let's let this thing finish installing and then we'll do the uh, Jelly Bean jelly bean apps so let's let's just give it a second here okay that has installed now we're gonna go to choose zip from SD card and select it then go down to CM10 again where I keep my stuff for this and then gaps jelly bean and install those go down to yes select it with that so now we're gonna let the jelly bean gaps install um, and then at the end, which normally I do this in the beginning of any of my installs, at the end we're going to go ahead and we're going to wipe our big three, which is data, cache, and delta cache. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wipe all of those, and then we're going to reboot the device. Hopefully this won't take too long for the G gaps, and we can go to the next step. Alright, that finished. So... 
hang on a second here we're gonna go back now this sometimes takes a little bit this almost seems like the thing froze but it does this to me right here all right here we go so wipe data factory reset slide down to delete all user data select it it's formatting data it's gonna format cache and it will be done then we're gonna go to wipe cache partition go down to yes and I would normally go to advanced um, to go to Delvet cache but Dragon Killer's post says there's no need to do it so I'm not gonna so we're just gonna go to reboot system now So this should boot up and let's see what kind of anim boot animation we have here. I think it's going to be the new CM10 boot animation. Should be pretty cool. And uh, we're going to go through the uh, install and setup. There it is. There is the CM10 new boot animation. So let's let this thing load and we will go from there. Alright, here we go. CM10 is booted up. Sorry there. And I want to show you some things on it. So you have your camera to the one side on your lock screen, your unlock, and your Google. If you go up. So we're going to unlock. I've gone ahead and already, um, what do you want to say, put in a couple things. Uh, did all my setup, put my custom wallpaper on there, those kind of issues. I already did that. Um, so let's kind of get into this thing. First I want to just show you um, in here about phone. And show you that we are running Android version 4.1.1, which is Jelly Bean. We're still on, uh, let's see here, we're on a kernel. I don't know if that's a new kernel or not, I'm not really sure. I don't think so. I think that's still the Android or the gingerbread kernel. Um, and we are running right here, Cronogen Mod version 10. It's unofficial. So you got all those specs. This is done by Dragon Z Killer. You can see this right down here at the bottom under build number. So we are running CM10. Um, let me just kind of show you some things on it. Um, so far, what I'm seeing is a very, very smooth transitions. Um, not really any lag yet. I went ahead and I already uh, downloaded all of my uh, apps from the Play Store, which was about 50 of them. And it actually, Wi-Fi speed and all that was perfect. Absolutely loved it. Worked really, really fast, really smooth. Um, let me show you just some things here. Here's your uh, call dialer. Um, text messages Let's see here your internet see it's automatically signing me in and there we go it's Google so that works good um, let me adjust oh yeah here's your toggles right here on top so you can toggle your Wi-Fi your Bluetooth you, know, you got all those things. It has the same customization as CM9. So you can go into system and you can look at your power menu. You can look at your font size, your wallpapers. Let's see what wallpapers we have for this thing. Let's go to let's go to uh Chronogenmod wallpapers. And here's all your Chronogenmod wallpapers, which is the standard ones. I have this on my other phone. I really like this wallpaper. We'll go ahead and set that. So you have those wallpapers. Um, status bar tweaks, your battery styles, which I've already changed mine. You know, the standard stuff there. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, notification drawer. You can change your toggles up here. What ones you want there, what order. All those kind of uh, settings are in there also. Um, let's go to lock screen. You can pick your security style, um, owner information, weather, calendar, slider shortcuts. So we can go in here and we can pick one of these. Let's say this one, for example. We'll pick one. Go to applications. And I want it to be, let's see, pick one really quick here, guys. Well, I kind of want to pick one I'm going to use. Uh, let's just say nav. Okay, so now you got nav there. If you ever want to go to it or unlock. So that's interesting. You can do that for your uh, lock screen there. Oh, there's our wallpaper now, which I really like. I can get rid of this because I have those same toggles in my drop down. 
And like I said, so far really, really smooth. I do want to check and see how camera works, if it works. Let's see. Hmm, nothing too promising. Oh, well, sorry about the uh, look here. Yeah, it's not doing nothing there, guys. Sorry. Looks like camera is not in functional. Yep, camera is non functional on this thing right now. Um, yeah, so can't you can't be looking forward to that on here that's for sure uh, camera is non-functioning let's see what other apps this thing comes with um, you got your Apollo music player uh, just a lot of the stuff I've already installed um, it's got super user on it so as you can see guys this thing is very very smooth and fast we're gonna go in here and you can see it transitions quite well that's all due to project butter for jelly bean um, let's see if Google now works what what's the weather in Fahrenheit it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit and clear in Richton Park there you go looks like it's doing its job so uh, very very neat um, you got the Google now built right into it and very smooth I'm gonna run this thing for quite a while I think um, I don't think I'm seeing in the near future of me going back to uh, ice cream sandwich CM9 and I'll just wait to see any new releases that come out in CM10 so uh, there it is guys that is my little install and review of CM10 Go ahead, download it, install it, check it out. Really nice. Like I say, no camera, so maybe it's not quite a daily driver yet. But um, everything else looks to be really nice and super smooth. So check it out. Thanks.